Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I'm finally getting back to working on my Vermont bookshop painting series. So I thought I would take you through my process while I work on this piece. So sit back and relax. You can grab your sketchbook or your knitting or some coffee and just hang out while I paint. Today I'm working on Bear Pond books in Montpelier, Vermont, and I'll have them linked down below. Definitely check their shop out, and if you're ever in Montpelier, definitely stop by. I really love this bookstore, and last summer we actually had some really insane flooding in Vermont, and sadly they ended up having about three feet of water, I think, in the store. They had to close for quite some time to basically gut the entire shop and put in all new flooring, shelves, and everything, but thankfully they were able to reopen last fall. So I wanted to paint their shop to celebrate and I've been meaning to do it for a while. One thing that has really helped my painting process is doing thumbnail sketches. I usually do multiple I have a grayscale sketch that I do first with just pen and marker just to get the layout down and kind of get an idea of values and I then can use that for a reference to scale up to the larger piece. And I find the thumbnail sketches super helpful to plan out the size and determine any elements that I want to change. Like in this painting, I'm actually taking out some flower pots that are in the actual photograph. The thumbnail sketches also make the overall process less stressful for me because I have something that I'm already happy with that I can refer back to and I'm basically just kind of resizing it and making it larger. So I've already done it once so I tell myself I can do it again and it kind of takes the pressure off. And so I know some people don't enjoy doing outlines, but honestly, this may be my favorite part. I just love seeing the piece come to life and really pop with the black ink outlines. When I was trying to decide on colors, I did a couple of rough test paintings, again, just some thumbnail sketches to try to figure out what color I wanted to do for the underpainting. And based on the colors of the brick and kind of the photograph that I had taken when I was in Montpelier last, I thought that a purple underpainting might really look good for this bookstore because it's also got the blue awnings and kind of the grayish windows. And I really ended up loving the dimension the purple underpainting added.
Vermont actually has an independent bookstore passport, and I'll have that linked down below as well. But there are 24 bookshops on it right now, and so I'm working my way through that list. So I'm hoping to have 12 of them painted by the end of the year. Keep the coffee over here, the paint water over here, we might be okay. So I did this piece over the course of about a week or week and a half because I needed to let the different layers dry in between. And it was really nice to have a more relaxed pace while I worked on this project. And it was also nice to have something that was already started and like hanging out in my studio that I could just spend a little bit of time working on each day. And I didn't have to come up with like a new project or start on a new blank page. So I really enjoyed this process. In the past, I have kind of rushed through the painting process because I'm just so excited to get to the end and have a finished piece, but I'm really glad that I took my time and I definitely think it paid off. I really love painting bookstores and small independent businesses because the storefronts always have so much character. Like with Bear Pond, they have this really fun little metal dude sculpture guy outside with books in his arm and he's waving at everybody and it just makes me smile.
kitchen. What are you doing? All right, these are my test swatches. I think I'm gonna go with this, this one. That one's watercolor, this one's gouache, kind of between those two. Oh, I don't know what to do. Well, if we do watercolor, we can always go over it with gouache, right? Right, 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 okay, here we go. Oh, it's scary. Oh, it's scary, it's scary. Are you helping? Yeah? Are you gonna help? Okay, this is, this is scary, let me. I'm too blind. Oh Lord, oh Lord. By far the most stressful part is always the lettering of the sign. The letters are so small and I really want to try and get as close to mimicking the typeface as I can. I just really think the lettering and sign for independent businesses is such a unique detail for each shop. So I try really hard to get it right. And when the lettering is white, like with Bear Pond, I have to use such a tiny brush and doing it in paint is is really hard but I'm really happy with how it ended up turning out but I was definitely stressed about it for a while. So here is the final piece. I'm really excited that I'm getting back into this series and I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of this process. Definitely check out the Bookshop Passport below and check out Bear Pond Books if you're ever in Montpelier and I will see you in the next one.